I'm really interested by the idea of cognitive apprenticeships or, or learning apprenticeships, you know, so that um, I, I say to the kids quite openly, guys, I'm just further down the learning track than you are in terms of being a history expert, not that I am, um, or a technology expert, and again, I'm not, but um, that's what I think the role of the teacher should be, is someone who's further down the track of learning and that has some wisdom, has some life experience to be able to uh, help those kids find their learning journey as well. So, which won't be the same as, as mine. And I've taught classes where I've had students who know way more about the topic we're doing because they go off and study it. They're passionate about that particular, say, Russian case study or, or something in modern history. And they just do way more reading. And beyond the individual, collectively, our students can do so much more than the individual teacher can do. So if we can activate that kind of collective conscious as well and say, um, you know, you, you can have individual goals and you can have individual motivations and that sort of thing, but it's, you know, quite a lot. You're relying on the collective to actually um, bring about true change or, or um, execute an idea or um, sustain something beyond just your own lifetime or your own experience or something like that. So um, there's a word, holonomy, which I've been really interested in as well, that tension between the individual and the collective goals and experiences. Um, and both are necessary, you know, we are individual beings, but we're also social beings and we've got to um, name that and acknowledge it. And I think that's, um, I think what teachers have to do is, is teach kids, yes, you are a precious, wonderful, beautiful individual, but you're also part of a group and they are also wonderful individuals as well. And, and to really succeed, to address all the problems that will come up and they will, um, we have to work together on this stuff.